Hi, welcome to Bell Talk Channel. I'm Bell, product designer who lives and works in Auckland, New Zealand. I think you might heard of ten thousand hour theory, which is mentioned by Mel uh, Malcolm Gladwell. So in his book Outliers, he mentioned that if you invest ten thousand hours into doing something, you will become the real expert in that field. But how to find that error? How to find the skill you want to develop in that ten thousand hours? Is it something that you jump immediately to start to do that, or you can divide it into different steps? In this video, I want to talk about ten-hour theory, or to be accurate, it's ten, one hundred, one thousand, and ten thousand hour theory. So let's get to here. Like, if you want to invest ten thousand hours into doing something, that's good. But a question would be, wait, where I can start? And thinking of、uh, of this ten thousand hours as a really long line that you want to that you want to do, and the first ten hour, which could be critical. I mean, you can spend the first ten hour to. Do some research. So put ten to do a quick research to figure out what you want to learn. And no matter it's a skill or a hobby or a job. For example, if you want to learn a second language, you want to say something. You want to、uh, learn Chinese or Japanese or other other language. So you can do some research about with this ten hours to figure out. How hard it is, and to figure out why you want to learn it,、uh, and you can talk to people. You can do some Google search. You can browse books or watch some YouTube videos, and stick to why and check if it match who you are.、Um, for example, if you decided to learn Chinese and you find oh you are a visual person, and you find the culture, the Chinese culture is fascinating. And there are many business opportunities, and that's the why. And also, you find oh, you personally quite a get familiar with those symbols and、uh, characters. So,、uh, and you have some time or your memory, you, you think it's good. By doing that, analyze and match, you find oh,、uh, and you might already got some Chinese friend that you can reach out for practice. Great, that could be. Happen during these ten hours, and it's about to get you some confident decisions. You want to move on, so that's the first ten hours, and then spend one hundred hours, one hundred hours for an end-to-end practice, and this is about to to learn this domain in a deeper level. And the goal is to be able to use the skill in a practical practical way. Uh, to to solve some real problems or to learn it、uh, from the beginning to the end in a in a understandable level, and if you want to learn to code, you can plan a ten a one hundred hours to learn and to do a small project, and if you want to draw something, you can draw something、uh, to make it real, or if you want to learn the language, you probably can use this ten a one hundred hours to. To to practice a sc- scenario and actually go to that scenario to use your language.、Um, so the key is to find a suitable course and learn the how the whole f- the the how、uh, the whole flow. And by doing this, you're able to、um, to know the whole flow in that t- domain, and it might change your next step.、Uh, let's take a learning language example again. So you can find a course. Any course probably take forty to fifty hours to learn in total, and you can do a thirty to forty hours to practice, and then you can use ten hours to do a real scenario.
for example, you can just go to Chinatown, or、uh, have, go to a Chinese meetup to practice your Chinese and to see how you how you do、uh, in that one、uh, hundred hours. Right, and then it's about one thousand hours, and that's for learning by doing it. I think each domain has different key themes.、Uh, after the first one hundred hours for an end-to-end -end practice, you should have a general sense of how it works, and then now is the time to push it forward. Spend one thousand hours for learning by doing it, and if you are Learning a new language, start to listen to podcasts or audio books,、uh, watch TV shows, and jump into meetups and find local friends to practice. And also, you can calculate all those time combined together, and it fit one one、uh, thousand hours. That's a milestone. So do a regular ref reflection、uh, is recommended. So just do some regular check by yourself. And at this stage. Patience is key, so you probably won't see immediate improvement for a while, or you might hit a pleasure、uh, plateau. But I think just trust the process, and then just keep going for ten thousand hours for mastery. And there's no trick on this one; just consistency and reflect and plan regularly and nurture your willing. To continue for different、uh, from different ways, I think if you're learning specific skill or work on your career direction, before hitting ten thousand hours milestone, you're probably already working as a junior in that domain. For example, if you spend one thousand hours to learn how to design, at this stage you probably already got some part-time job, where you're helping your friends. On their website to do some design job, things like that.、Uh, my suggestion is to find a job related to that role as soon as possible, so that you can learn from your work. And by doing that, you don't need to spend much more effort on learning every day,、uh, and you can keep the momentum because your job requires you to do that. And for example, you're learning a new language. By working as assistant at a restaurant or、uh, as a translation agency, so you can practice、uh, it every day at work, and even your pay is less than you expected. So let's get back to the main point. I think at the beginning is to start by doing ten hours research to find that is it a fit for you, and after that, by all means. You can decide to spend the rest nine thousand nine hundred and ninety hours in that domain. But before you spend that that amount of time, invest ten hours for the starting for as the starting point. And if you feel good, start from there. That's my tip for career growth today. And thanks for watching. If you have any tips or、uh, comments, please leave it below. And、uh, stay tuned and stay subscribed for other videos. I will see you in another one. Bye.